Here is an animation that compares E-beam with thermal field emission, TFE, to E-beam with cold field emission, CFE. We start by taking a closer look at the inside of the SEM column, where we will find a traditional TFE source at the top, emitting electrons at very high temperatures. As electrons are emitted from the source tip, a cloud of electrons is developed and shaped by electromagnetic fields within the column to form the E-beam. Once electrons exit the column and reach the sample, detectors capture any secondary or backscattered electrons to produce the image. Next, we take a look at a CFE source alongside the TFE source. Notice how CFE is only emitting electrons from the pointy, more accurate part of the tip. The narrower CFE beam results in a smaller spot size on the sample, which is the main driver for higher resolution. Looking at what these systems have been working on, we find that the CFE image has noticeably higher resolution than the TFE image. Now, let's look at a second scenario, where the number of electrons emitted by the CFE system is drastically increased, such that the beam shapes and spot sizes match. With CFE's increased spot size, resolution is now the same as TFE, but imaging speed is significantly increased. Looking at their imaging progress, we find that TFE has only partially scanned the image, while CFE has completed scanning the entire image.